What's up everybody welcome back to justin beauty and today i'm going to be focusing on doing this look right here i hope you guys like it let's get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up and let's start okay you guys this is what i came up with and let's get started so i'm gonna grab this pillowy primer um it is in a lighter shade i don't remember what shade it is but we're gonna put that all over our eyelid like so i'm also gonna grab this morphe um brush right here it is in a number m173 and i'm gonna start blending that eye primer just like so um i'm gonna blend it just a little bit just to help the blending process because i do use a sponge so i'm just blending that just a little bit i'm gonna grab my little sponge right here i did squeeze it just to make sure that there is no extra water we want the sponge to be damped and not soaking wet. So um, now what I'm doing here is that I'm just blending everything very well just to make sure that I don't have any, you know, like crazy spots where it's too dry or we just want that eye to be very prepped in other words. So um, I'm gonna move on to my Amica palette and I'm gonna use this purple beautiful purple actually and it's all from morphe i'm using a morphe um flat brush as well and i'm getting that purple and just kind of put it in just kind of packing it into my crease just like so we're just packing the color we're really not doing much blending right now so we're just packing that color as much as i can however i know that i do end up um blending not blending but also like packing that color a little bit higher than my normal crease which i'm gonna do in a minute because we are going to incorporate another color so all these brushes right here are from morphe so i'm gonna be using the smallest brush and i'm gonna grab that kind of pinkish purple um color right here that you guys see in this palette and i'm just going to add that right on top of the purple and we're gonna start incorporating it just like so so now we're gonna start blending and incorporating that lighter purple that you guys seen so we're just gonna start blending it and this process it's a lot of blending and there's a lot of you know you keep adding and of course i went back with the purple because while i was actually blending the other color the purple on my eyelid or in the crease area it kind of disappeared so i kind of want that to be um a little bit more darker so now we're going to cut our crease and we're going to go back with the pillowy um this little brush right here is something it's just a paintbrush it's something that i just kind of design i guess for it so i like to use that because it cuts my crease that doesn't cut my crease it actually helps me cut the crease a lot better or sharper and i should say so what i'm doing right here i'm just kind of creating how i want that um that creased you know cut i'm using this um swap right here with a little bit of micellate water just to remove some of that unwanted color it is a lot harder than a wipe to be honest um you know because the wipe you just kind of grab it and and wipe but this one is a little bit you know you it's kind of like a swap so now i'm just gonna fill in all that area that i took off the original color so the purple color that i took off i'm just kind of now filling it in with the eye primer just like so and we're gonna start blending that into um the eyelid just like so so we are going to grab a different tool just to make sure that everything is blended correctly and there's no lumps just like this one this is just a very flat i don't know where is it from but it's just a very flat brush and i'm just blending everything together and we're gonna use this green right here this is also a morphe palette and I'm also using a flat brush for Morphe. Um, it, I think it's a Sour Patch palette. That's the one I'm using. And I'm using that green one, but it's kind of, you got to build up that green, you know, to your desire. I know that I had to go into that green multiple times just to get it to where I want it to stand out more. So I did, you know, I had to go back and forth, back and forth. So this is so far what I have right now. So I started just incorporating a little bit more, make sure that the edges have that green color because we want that color to stand out. So just like so, that's all I'm doing right now. So it's a beautiful color. Now we're gonna go back to Amika and we're gonna use that blue color right here. It's kind of like a tur uh, turquoise, I think that's what it's called. I can't pronounce it, but anyways, we're going to go into that one and we're going to create a wing. 
so it the wing is not gonna be how you normally do the wing it's gonna be like a half wing in other words so it's only i'm only gonna put the the blue or the color blue green just towards like the middle section of my eyelid and we're gonna expand that wing and just kind of just go with the flow um don't worry if you guys mess up or it's just not coming out doesn't look good or whatever we are gonna clean that out so just go ahead and do a wing as you normally do with an eyeliner um just grab a very flat brush and again all the brushes that i'm using are morphe brushes so they're not from any other brand so now i'm grabbing the same swap that i i was using earlier and i'm just gonna make that a little bit sharper now i'm gonna use my elf um petty primer i know it's not a petty primer it's a grip primer and i'm going to put that all over my face remember remember to wait a few minutes so it has to get sticky in order for your foundation to go straight on that um it doesn't leave your face sticky or anything like that it just makes your um it, i don't know it's just a flawless look i guess i don't know but i'm gonna use my frankie rose i forgot what shade it is i know you guys cannot see it neither can i but um i don't even know if this is my shade i know i have multiple frankie rose foundations because i can't figure it out what shade am i because one i feel like it's too dark the other one i feel like it's just too medium and my face is kind of like i don't know it's not dark but it's not light it's kind of like a mocha but then i put mocha and it just doesn't work with, for me so this elf brush i'm going to um buff that out this is an elf i think buffer or foundation brush that's what it is and I'm gonna buff that foundation out just like so. Again, it's not a buff, uh, like a buffing brush. It is a foundation brush, but I don't know why I keep saying buff. But anyways, we're gonna put that all over the, the face just like so. And I don't know, you guys think this is my foundation or not? It, it's just making me look a little bit crazy right here. And as of the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's my color, but we're gonna go with the float and we're just going to use that all over the all over our face just like so and we're just going to make sure that every part of our face has that foundation and what i like about this foundation that you could build your foundation um sometimes you know if it like forehead just for example it doesn't have a lot of foundation you can actually keep adding more foundation and it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look you know it looks flawless after it you know what you're doing of course um but i like it and i'm gonna be using that um sponge once again and make sure that it's not wet and make sure that it's damped and i'm just going to start um pretty much pressing that foundation into my face just like so because we want to smooth everything out with that um sponge so that's pretty much what i'm doing right here and it look, I don't know. I still am very not convinced that that one is my color. But now I'm going to be going into this concealer. And I'm going to apply it in my inner corner and outer corner of my forehead. And I think this one is uh, a Tarte concealer. It's a Tarte concealer. So, yeah, I don't know what color it is. And I'm going to go into my Fenty Beauty. And this one is a mocha. It's a, the stick. And I'm going to apply that on my hand once again on my hand i know on tiktok i do it a little bit more different but right now we're gonna do it in our hand we're gonna get that um setting spray and we're gonna spray our little morphe brush right here and we're gonna start applying our contour just like so um i do add the setting spray all over my face before i even start my face so i think i skipped that but we're just gonna keep contouring our face just like so and we're just gonna dab, 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 dab. You know, just make sure that you guys are dragging it down, especially on your neck area and not up. So we wanna just make sure that we are getting those areas that we wanna contour and um, just blend it out as much as you guys can because you guys don't wanna have like, you know, a dark spot in one side and then you're lighter on the other side, you know? You know what I mean? That unequalness, we don't wanna have that, so pretty much that's what i'm doing also what i like about this stick is that also you could build up to your desire you could also just leave it like that or just add a little bit more um the reason i spray it is because it i mean it's already smooth but i just kind of want that flawless finish so now i'm going to grab my little sponge again and i'm going to start 
um, blending that concealer remember that you always start from the inner corner and then go around your eyelid just like so and then with pretty much nothing in on that little tip of your sponge you're gonna start blending the the middle section of your um under eye the only reason i do this is because i crease a lot so yeah so now i'm gonna be using this pink ultra powder and this one is from i think one size it's one size i really love it it really blurts out you know that area which i really love the way it the finish results so it's been one of my um one of my favorites uh powders so i use that all over just like that and i'm gonna use this um flat brush right here and we're gonna start contouring we're gonna contour our face and this contour i think is from charlotte and we're gonna start but i forgot i think it's in medium or oh, it's in tan so isn't and i think the color is in tan i'm not sure but anyways that's what i'm using and i'm just kind of dab 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 all over my face just in the areas where i actually just contour with the fenty beauty stick so that's where i'm just kind of adding that um contour powder pretty much that's all i'm doing so you just want to make sure you get your double chin right there you know you guys and spray your face remember spraying your face makes a difference because you're setting all the powder so now we're going to go into this juvia's palette right here it has a little bit of purple and pink i'm not a blush girl but i tell you when i put that blush it really makes the whole look stand out so um i like to grab a little bit more of that pink just to give me the effect that i want not all the time i like more the purple than the pink so now with the same um contour uh brush that i use i'm just going to contour my face pretty much with nothing on the brush like there's whatever product is left that's how i'm contouring my my nose right now i normally don't do that I normally just use a stick and just kind of go straight in there but right now that's all i'm doing exactly with the blush um brush that's what i'm doing as well i did use a little bit of the concealer right in the middle because we want the kind of you know sharp nose now i went into my second powder which is also from one size i just i, I think this one's peach I, I don't think it's peach i don't know what it's called but it's in a, in a banana it's kind of like it looks like a banana powder but it's not i forgot what color it is so we're just going to make that sharp and we're just going to add that all over the face pretty much because we want to set everything especially when you crease especially right here in the smiling face i crease a lot as well so we're gonna make sure that we add that powder just like so and we're just tapping it in i don't know if i like that silicone little thing that i'm using to be honest one side is like silicone and the other side is kind of like a little sponge it feels weird to be honest but it gets the job done to be honest and now i'm gonna just get a regular brush and dust 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 because i do not bake so we want to dust everything away just you know whatever is left over um we just want to dust that away so i'm gonna grab that little sponge again and i'm just gonna blend in that little area where i put concealer use your finger because the finger actually gives you better results than anything to be honest it blends in way better to be honest so that's what i'm doing and I'm just gonna keep dusting everything away, just like so. Just wanna make sure that I'm not leaving anything behind. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty um, little thing thing here. I forgot what it's called. It is a, whew, a highlighter, that's what it is. I'm just putting it in the point of my nose and in the, um, the middle of my nose. So now I'm gonna go back to the um, palette and I'm gonna grab the blue. So the same blue that I did my eyeliner with, that's the same blue that I'm actually going to be using. I'm actually just going to take that blue and just going to put it halfway. So halfway, I'm just going to put that blue because I'm going to add a different color in the front area of my eyelid. Under eye, I'm sorry. So we're going to use that little, um, I think that one's kind of like an egg shell, but it's kind of shimmery. So I'm going to add that in the front of my eyelid, under eyelid, right? I think that's what it's called, no. my under eye just like so we just want things to pop out a lot a lot more than just look all crazy you know so that's what i'm doing i'm just kind of popping that into my inner corner and bringing it all the way um into the middle to meet with that blue so now i'm going to go back with this highlighter fenty beauty highlighter and i'm going to put that in my inner corner just like 
it's just like so we want that pop i love when my eyes actually pop especially when it gives a little pop in the in the front of the eye in the you know the inner corner so you know i always take it a little bit you know top notch because i really like the, the the way it looks so now i'm gonna do the same thing um on my other eye we're gonna get that blue and we're going to start just blending away just halfway into my under eye just like so and you're just gonna put that blue and incorporate it with the eyeliner that i already currently have there so now you're just gonna get that um another morphe brush and you're just gonna blend away blend the life away that's what i say all the time <laughs> i don't know a little crazy i don't know but anyways we're just gonna blend that halfway just like so and then we're going to add that egg shell. I don't know what it's called actually, but it's like a kind of egg shell. It's kind of glittery and it's beautiful, to be honest. And it comes on that palette, Amika palette. You know, she did a really good job with this palette. The colors are amazing and they're really easy to work with. Um, so anyway, so I really like this shimmer right here. So we're just going to add that shimmer just like so. And we're going to we're going we're going <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying i don't know what i'm saying i don't even know what i said I don't lenguas. anyways so now i'm going to go back with my fenty beauty and we're going to put that in our inner corner just like so just to give it that extra pop this one is from la Girls, and it is a neon black color and i tried doing my um you know my eye you know the top of the eye i don't even know what it's called with the eyeliner but i kept poking my eye i have no idea i'm so bad at this i can't even put the eyeliner on top because i keep poking that eye but anyways this elf mascara i mean it's not too bad but you know what it does the job so i'm putting the mascara on only on the bottom lashes i don't like to put it on the top of lashes i mean i do and i don't but in this case i'm not doing it so just on the bottom lashes i am so it's not a very bad mascara, but it is in the color black and um, we're just putting it on. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time.